Hi, I'm Courtney Loving, Clinical Director at Columbus Counseling Center, and I'd like to start a conversation today and debate about spanking our children. Um, is it okay and good parenting? Is it abusive? Is it misguided frustration being taken out on irritating but innocent childhood behaviors, or is it just flat out wrong and unnecessary? Um, a good friend, writer, and teacher uh, recently brought it to my attention that our children's local elementary school paddle children who have bad behavior if their parents have okayed its action. Honestly, <laughs> I was outraged and at that moment began to sort of rally supporters and, and get some knowledge about where other friends and colleagues are on this topic um, around Columbus. Most of the group, I find, um, opposes the school's use of this method of discipline, um, kind of citing that, you know, that there are these mis mixed messages going out to the kids. You know, there are the kids that, that, you can, that can be spanked, while there are the other kids whose parents said, no, it's not okay, are not being spanked for the same exact infraction. Um, you know, what is that telling those kids? It's okay to hit me, but it's not okay to hit them. So I have a problem with that, um, and I think as a community we need to start talking more about, you know, what's going on, what's going on in our schools, and what's going on at home, and, and what is really okay. Um, you know, and then as the conversation started to turn more personal, I got a little more diversity in responses from some of my friends, and in fact a lot of them are using spanking as part of their disciplinary arsenal and they say, you know, and they, they're very emphatic about it. And I think a lot of that comes from the fact that Columbus is in the South. And I think that spanking is part of the cultural norm here. Um, I know I grew up in Texas, and I was, I was spanked <laughs> regularly, unfortunately. Um, but I just think that this is something that we need to start talking about, whether this is inflammatory to you or not. I really hope that after this blog, reading this blog, watching this blog, that you will weigh in with your opinion so that we can start to understand each other better and maybe, maybe change our values, maybe change the way we see things. Um, you know, we always have other options um, that result, that, you know, other parenting options, other disciplinary options that can result in healthier, less violent children and societies. Um, in the southeast, like I said before, it's become almost customary to punish a child's negative behavior with spanking. Some parents rely on spanking simply as a last resort, while others use spanking as the primary form of punishment. A 2002 article uh, in the Harvard Mental Health Letter would have parents reconsidering this form of discipline. The article takes a look at 88 different studies that indicate a link between a child being spanked and physical abuse later in life. These studies also show that a child that has been spanked is more likely to have a relationship with their parents that has less trust and affection than those whose parents choose alternative disciplinary, disciplinary actions. Um, the article indicates that the immediate effects of spanking are children who respond to their environment with greater emotional pain and anger and long term, and, and in the long term lead the child to a stronger um, resentment of their parents. Uh, even more surprising, many schools in this county, I think I, I mentioned this already a little bit, um, are still allowed to paddle the children when they misbehave. I know that in, I'm, I'm almost positive that in Russell County, um, across the board, all schools are allowed to do that. Um, so where do I stand? I don't know if it comes across here, but I know that there are better ways to discipline our children. I know that there are ways um, that are more effective long term. Another wonderful article um, that I just read this morning is titled The Long-Term Effects of Spanking by Alice Parker, and she mentioned that um, a study published in pediatrics, uh, researchers at Tulane University provide the strongest evidence that uh, children's short-term response to spanking may make them act out more in the long run. She also noted that in this um, study, they showed that children that are spanked at three show by 50% more aggressive behavior at five. So is that something you know, that we're gonna sanction and, and let continue? Um, 
you know, a lot of this kind of adds to sort of a loop of bad behavior. Corporal punishment instills fear rather than understanding. And that makes sense. You know, when we are parenting our children, one of the best ways to parent is by modeling. Showing them that as an adult, we use logic and reasoning to solve our problems and not anger. And when they feel frustrated and unable to express themselves through words, perhaps it's our job to, to give them those words or teach them those words and show them that it's not through physical violence that we get what we need. So when we're spanking, isn't that what we're doing? Saying, well, it's not okay for you to hit your friend, but when you do something you're not minding, I'm going to spank you. What is that telling them? So, you know, this is just the tip of the iceberg with spanking. There is so much literature out there. There are so many debates and so many conversations. And I'd really like to invite you to, to respond to this by writing, by video, however you want. Or better yet, join um, a parenting class. I know Columbus Counseling Center offers a couple different uh, options in parenting classes. We also have counselors that can pro provide support while you try to maybe learn how to use your uh, frustration and your words to help discipline your children at home. But long term, I think it creates better attachment and relationships with our children. And that's what we want. That's what we want for them and that's what we want for our society, a more peaceful, solution to solving problems. So if you've enjoyed this, please let me know. If, you've, if this has rallied you, to, rallied you against me, let me know that too. I invite your conversation. Thanks so much.